Hey guys. So, the morning before going out. Can we get in on this? No. So, tell us, Miley, yeah. tell us what happened last night. I don't know what did happen. <laughs> <laughs> Can you um, tell us all about it? So we went to um, sweets. sweets. What did you ask me? I asked how Did I say no? You're too young. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said yes. Cool. And what, yeah. what happened? Cold and a headache, was it? Yeah, cold and a headache, wasn't it? Yeah. And what happened to that? It went away. Yeah, it was awesome. And then afterwards you said... I think someone over there has hurt their arm. Shoulder, I mean. Shoulder, yep. And we went over and they did, and it was the boy, so I was right. Yeah, it's crazy. So we sat there and I said, Miley said, can we go and do it again? And um, how old are you, Miley? Nine. Nine. Wow. So she said to me, can we go and do it again? And I was like, yeah, sure. But I tell you, what, let's do it different this time. And I said, let's listen to Holy Spirit and let's hear what he's saying and see who it's about, and then we'll go and see that person. And um, yeah, she heard Bang On and they were shocked, weren't they? Yeah. So, was the guy healed? Yeah. It was awesome. He checked his shoulder and his shoulder was much looser and he was like, how did that happen? So we, we explained it to him, we let him know how much God loves him and, um, and left them to eat their dessert. Yeah. So it's awesome. Have you had fun? Yeah. Cool. Right then, we're going to go and have a little look around see what everyone else is talking about. So let's go and have a look. Thank you very much. This girl's amazing. Let's go and find her dad. This is daddy. Daddy, she's doing an awesome time, isn't it? Yeah. Did you get a video? Uh, I got some photos, but I didn't oh, get a video much. Awesome. Yeah. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, drop them in the link below. Yeah, I would do. Yeah, yeah. Have you got a video of her sharing the testimony? I got a video of the first testimony. Yeah. Okay. The second one, not the one where I were in Yeah, yeah. Good. So that was good. Yeah. yeah. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let me go and have a look. Would you like ice cream on toast? Ice cream on toast? Yeah! Ice cream on toast. Can you tell us what happened last night? Um, they went to the pub. Went down a pub. Oh no. But you were just drinking um, Coke, weren't you? Yeah, Coke with gin and tonic. Gin and tonic? Yeah, had a gin and tonic. <laughs> um, yeah, just met some people. I loved on them. Uh, met skater boys, broken ankles, um, headaches. Yeah, uh, we have told you. Drunk Can you tell us about the last young lady? Oh, that then we met a little. The, the the really short version. How long were you there yeah, for? Yeah, just yeah. loving on her. Oh, we were there for like over an hour in the wow. freezing cold. Wow. Give us the really short version. Okay. Um, the the highlights, the things that you think really made a difference to her life. Um, the highlight was seeing how I was her, and I was able to talk to her because I understood everything she was going through, and I could talk to her from that perspective, which really helped her. So um, you had you had similar. Experiences. Similar experiences, I could relate to her. And then also I was with Emma, another RFI uh, student who is just amazing. So we kind of like just worked together, both of us, through the Holy Spirit, but was able to talk to her, not from our, us, from our hearts, but from Jesus' perspective and give her real truth that she could take away. Um, and yeah, I guess she really, she needed, she was, it was a divine appointment. She needed, she almost was like, I was looking, I was like, searching. It's no coincidence that you bumped into me and Emma. So, wow. yeah, wow. so hopefully we're still in contact with her. She's a beautiful young lady. <laughs> That's awesome. So they've uh, they've already set up a WhatsApp group. So they're already like communicating. Yeah. Um, so you were just really sewing into our identity, letting yeah. her know how That's how daddy how daddy sees her. Yeah, yeah. That's and, it. And how come you couldn't do that so effectively now? Because it's not me. Uh, it's the power of Christ in me and that's the only way we could have done that like to straight to her heart without it tainting like what we want her to change as people but you know just so, you know, truth pure so what's what's shifted and what's changed that has 
now enabled you to be able to do that, whereas before, maybe you didn't feel quite... What's happened over the last three days? That needed to be shown first. Like, me, I need to be unshakable, like, first, before I give anything else to anyone else, because it will just be broken, and that's no good. So it had to start with me, and it had to start with who I... It had to be strong in who I was, so I couldn't hear the truth. Since knowing my... Something that is just there, it ain't going away, no matter whether you say you believe or not, or whether you call me crazy, I, it doesn't matter, like, she she got the truth because that is the truth in me, and when you know it in yourself, it's way more powerful, and she saw that, she saw we didn't waver, because we knew who we were. That's awesome. So, um, so really, you spent the last three days just um, listening to who God says you are, being grounded in the truth of who you are. Yeah, stop you know, seeing myself from my view, uh, from my eyes, uh, the wrong perspective. It's like taking off the lens that was just giving me distorted vision uh, wow. of myself. And that is the power, that's where it comes from. It starts with you. And uh, like God and Jesus are so gentle. They know that you've been living in this world, which is, you know, and you've been doing all the things you've been doing. And that's between you and him and he can, do it privately with you and lift it off you slowly and gently. I, I thought, how is it it's gonna be ripped off me, it's gonna be painful, but when God deals with you, it's out of love and gentleness and who doesn't want to be the real them? Like seriously. You know? Awesome. Awesome. That's amazing. So that's just like one testimony from yesterday evening and you know we sat here last night, there was what, four, five, five of us sat here until like Throwing, throwing testimonies at each other, just, just yeah. showing, teaching us, growing us, people that we got to touch and just share truth with. So yeah, it's, it's, it's strong to watch a group of you wear the truth and go out and love them. And you know, there's different people that need love. There was that girl. There was, you know, a woman who had been hurt by faith. She was a lesbian and been hurt by faith. Somebody from the school touched them because they were equipped. Now they knew what to do because they knew who they were. So they could go and give that out, and that was just powerful to see a group of us know who we are and give out love in that way. Wow, that's amazing. Take that God says that you're something and believe who God says you are. Because you do that, you're relevant. See, Christ paid a price to make you something. He didn't just do something for you, he did something to you. You guys have been made a new creation. If you're in Christ, all old things are passed away. The answer to somebody else's problem and what you've been through is going to enable you to... Um, to really connect with people and bring people into the truth of who they are. So guys, be blessed. I'm going to sign off now. These guys are going out. They're going to uh, Westfield. Westfield. Um, they're just going to go and love on some people. So if you see anyone around that's like comes up to you, if you're in Westfield, like just hear what they got to say because um, you know they're hungry to see to see the kingdom manifest. They're hungry to love on people, to express the truth, and impact people's lives. And then tomorrow, Brick Lane. They're all going out to Brick Lane. It's going to be on Rory's Facebook page. Rory Paget Wilkes. Friend him. He'll accept you. He'll always <laughs> accept you. And um, yeah, just check out. Um, so guys, be blessed. You're amazing. Step out in the truth of who you are. Go and love on someone today.